Hello friends. All right. This is going to be, I don't normally say this because it's super corny, but grab a drink, grab your coffee, grab a real drink. Cause this is going to be an insane haul. Um, the, the house is back to looking crazy. And if you just joined me, this is how everything looks when we start to transition the house. That target box, wait till you guys, wait till you see what I ordered. Don't go on Instagram. It just, it's a, it, yeah, it's bad. All right, we're going to kick it off with the Cabbage Patch Kids because they're taking up the biggest room as far as boxes go. All right, this baby I got on, I believe, Poshmark, and he's 1985 or 1984. He's in his original outfit, and he has his papers with him. And his adoption papers, his name is Joseph Thomas. And I don't know, yeah, his name is Joseph Thomas. So, let's see, 84, someone signed this in, I'm sorry, 86, July 1st, 86. So, any hoosers, he's a cutie patootie. I am a sucker for the pacifier. I see the pacifier and I'm like, I have to have it, have to have it. Um, I am very picky about the Couch Patch Kids. I will purchase, they have to have shoes. I prefer the ones with pacifiers. Not a deal breaker, but it's a nice added touch. And um, I always, I'm a price haggler. I won't pay like asking price, you know, like I'll, I'll really low ball them. They'll come back like with another one and then I'll come back with one. And they usually accept, honestly, I don't think I've not been accepted. Like my prices have not, have always been accepted, even on Louis Vuittons and stuff. So he needs a little touch up. I'm going to take magic eraser to his shoes and kind of spot clean his shoes. And he has a little speck on his face and I'm going to see if I can get that. He has a, it just needs a little cleaning up. But other than that, he's good. So that is baby number one. All right. This is one set of twins. And I don't want to go through the plastic. I mean, I could, but you can see she has a pacifier. And look at their outfits. Look at their outfits. They're in faux green velvet. They have, they're adorable. They're going to be so amazing. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to take them out of the plastic or what, but I won these set of, I didn't win them. I was the highest bidder for these set of twins. And they have green eyes and they have, I forget what color they call this, um, hair color. It's not blonde. It's something else. But anyways, these are a set of twins and I don't even, I don't remember how much I paid for them, but they did not come with papers. Oh yes, they did. It just has an envelope. Yeah, there's an envelope and I don't have a name for them yet. Someone said I should name them, um... Christmas. Do they have papers? No. Like Christmas, like Noel and something else. So I don't know what I'm going to name them. I really haven't had time to think about it. And I also have another set of twins I haven't even opened. So I'll actually be unboxing them right now. And wait till you guys see these twins. They're cutie patooties. And I have another set of twins coming in transit. And then I have a girl, and I have two more girls in transit. So I have nine Cabbage Patch Kids. It's a, it's a whole thing. And not only that, I started buying accessories for them, which I'll show you guys. All right, so we're going to unbox the other set of twins that I won. Won. Like, I won them. No, I was the highest bidder. Anyways, these are cute. And then I also have that blonde Cabbage Patch doll that's all in red velvet. Oh, these are these are gonna look so stinking cute. Anyways, let me let's unbox the t the other set of twins right now. All right, her hat is in front of her face, but that happened during transit. Okay, so they're a little discolored. He is a little bit. I don't know if these are twins. He looks a little bit darker than her, but it could be age. I'm not sure. All right. His name is Dickie Burt. I don't think I'm keeping that name. Pretty sure I'm not. All right. Her name is, I can't see what her name is. 
All right, they're a little bit discolored. Um, I think... I don't think these are original twins. I'm pretty sure they're not. I'm pretty sure someone redid the boy for sure. Because the face is a little bit... Does not match the body, but it's okay. I'm not. I'm not upset. Like I like them anyways. They're totally cute. I'm trying to see. Does she have a pacifier? No, she doesn't. All right. So as you can see, I'm like on a whole Christmas type of deal with the twins. Um, I don't want to open up the box, but I don't know. I mean, it it could be discoloration. I just started getting into like collecting Cabbage Patch Kids, so I'm not sure. I joined a whole bunch of Cabbage Patch Kid, um, whatchamacallit, groups. All right, anyways, during transit, her little bonnet fell in front of her face. I am going to open them up eventually. I'm just not going to do it right now because I'm transitioning the house and I just, I don't have the time. All right, hold on. All right, and then I also went on eBay and I bid on some of, like, the accessories that are from the 1980s for the Cabbage Patch Kids. This is like a little um, carrier. I didn't even know this came with it, but I was like, okay. Anyways, that's cute. But what I really wanted was, it did come with a little diaper bag too. That's cute too to put like, I'm going to put this in the diaper bag because I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. But the diaper bag's cute, perfect condition. What I really wanted though are these two sleepers. They don't have the ribbon on them, which is okay because I just bid on a bundle. But that's... You can put them in and it'll protect their bodies and their outfits, not their faces. But like if I want to transport them, I can put, you know, there's like two. And I also have a carrier coming in, Cabbage Patch. And I think I have one more of these. Oh, no, it's a different one. It's actually, it actually has, um, it's like a bassinet with handles. So... I bought these because I need, I mean, I want to be able to put them in something like, I mean, if I do want to take them out, which I do want to take them out, eventually I want to, their bodies and their outfits like to be protected and so forth. So that's why I really wanted these, but she was selling this whole thing like as a bundle. So she sent me like, you know, like on Poshmark and on eBay, they'll send you like a discount and then you can like counter the discount. So we just kind of went back and forth and then I got it for a really good deal. So Anyways, this came in, and then I have, like I said, I have another set of twins coming, two more girls coming, and then I have a car seat and a carrier coming, and then I'm done with Cabbage Patch Kids, because my husband's like, we don't even have room for these Cabbage Patch Kids, let alone more that are coming, which is true. I have to get a bookcase or some type of case to put them in. So that's my next project after I'm done doing the house. All right, we're just going to kick it off with Home Goods. All right, I know I said I didn't want to pay $24.99 for a Ray Dunny um, canister, but I did, and it, it's here. It is what it is. And the way I justify it, okay, is this can be out for Halloween and fall. So it really just costs like $13 each because it's serving for two seasons. That's how I'm going to justify this purchase. So yeah, pumpkin spice. It's cute. It's cute. I love it. It doesn't match, but that's okay because it's still got that whole fall color going through. And that's what it's all about. And as So, all right. Let me push that over. All right, this haul is going to be all over the place. Um... I found the towels that I got at Home Goods, and you guys all know that I'm having some major issue with towels. Like, I have some fetish for towels. $12.99 for that set. $12.99 for the Ray Dunn. Welcome. But these are so stinking nice. I mean, they are really, really nice. And I know I have more than enough Halloween towels. There's another set. I just cannot find it at this particular moment. And guess what? I forgot to show you guys. I knew I had another girl somewhere. Hold on. There's another Cabbage Patch Kid. Her. She is adorable. I don't know what her name is, but she has her adoption papers. Is she not cute? Had to have her. I love her yellow dress. I may get her like a holiday dress. I don't know, but then I don't want to open up the boxes. This is just so confusing. I like, don't open the boxes. I don't open the box. I don't know. 
I don't know. It says 1985. I mean, I've seen people buy... I mean, there's boxes for sale. So I really don't know if she's from 1985. But all I know is she's adorable. Adorable, adorable, adorable. And, yeah. Okay, so this is the last of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah, this is the last. Alright, let's do 99. I got these. These are $3.99 each. They're cute. Not sure where I'm going to put them. I'll find a place. Always do. Alright. Let's see what else Crystal's got in her bag of goodies. Harvest. Love the tag. $2.99. A little pricey there. A little pricey. Then we have this. 99 cents tapestry. That's for Fancy's um, dog bowls. So that she's in the season, too. I probably should have gotten those cheapy little doormats they had for 99 cents. Maybe I'll go back and get her that. Because that way, if she spills water on it, it won't stay wet. This will stay wet. Then I got this this runner for either the bar or my or where my husband's little table is where he eats his snacks and stuff because actually if he did spill taco sauce and stuff it wouldn't really show up all that much on this i don't know it's too cute for 2.99 cute tapestry all right then i had to have this the ghost the girl ghost she's a cutie patootie one ninety nine. I bought a bunch of these. I mean, I'm gonna decorate my tree with those. I have another little ghost. I guess maybe this is her daughter, her or her sister, whichever. How cute is that? How much were these? Ninety nine cents. No. Yes. Oh my gosh. I gotta get more. No, I don't. No, I don't. I mean, if I wanted to do a harvest tree, these would be amazing ornaments for 99 cents. Cute. Alright. And more trick or treat. Hold on. There's so much more. Hold on. I got these for $1.99. They're leaf string lights in two different colors. Then I got this cute wreath, which may go up there during fall, or it may go in my husband's area. Oops, sorry, strawberry shortcake. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how everything starts flowing together. But yeah, so I'm mixing, obviously, a lot of fall and Halloween together. I'm really not sure how I'm going to decorate, because I have at least... I have bins inside the garage, and then I have bins in storage, like... Probably a dozen, bin, six bins of Halloween and six bins of fall. Yeah. So I don't know how I'm going to decorate. If it's going to be Halloween or it's going to be all Halloween. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right. And I decided, what the hey, I might as well just get these. These A pack of six. These will be great for Christmas sponges. Put those underneath my um, sink. Then I decided to buy a pack of six. These are obviously for autumn. I already have my pack of Halloween ones from Home Goods. So, anyways, great little deals. All right, this is going to go for decorating my Halloween tree. 99 cents, just a big sparkly spider. Tacky McTacky. This will be cute to put on there. Big and sparkly. Jack-o'-lantern. And then, of course, this. Adorable. I think I'm going to do what you guys say and do, get, do the hairspray. So that's not so much glitter everywhere. Alright, then I bought Hello Fall for $1.99. Love it. Then I bought one of these. Again, I bought it for fancy, but I might just use it right here. Because I always put a placemat right here, even though we don't eat here. Because there's so much stuff for decorating. Um, because I'm thinking that because she does spill water, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to get her those cheapy mats that we saw. All right. Again, these are haunted houses again for the tree. Hello fall. 
had to have that one. Then I'm going to use these two picks to kind of foof out the wreath that I bought at the 99. All right, you guys. So what I'm doing as I'm doing this haul is I'm separating fall from Halloween. So I kind of I'm trying to get organized. It's just, it is, look at that. And again, I mean, welcome. Like I think in August, no, July, August, we're in August, July, we picked up 893 new friends and welcome. And please trust and believe. And you can even, the people in the comment section will tell you, this is how my house gets when I'm transitioning. But once I transition, there's no more, like the house gets, it does not look like this. And the only room that looks like this is the dining room because this is where everything goes like underneath my dining room table is where everything goes so anyways I don't want you guys to think like this is how my home looks all the time in the comment section they'll tell you it, it's crazy when we're changing seasons and right now I am this whole red white and blue and lemon I loved it it was fun had a great time with it but it's time for it to go away till next year because I'm over it all right so I did get this core mat for $5.99 and it's broken it ripped so what I'm going to do is because I really don't care, like this isn't like, you know, a big deal breaker for me. Like this isn't like, this is just a little cheapy one from the 99 cent store. Um, I'm going to put it out today because my 4th of July one is looking pretty, it's, it needs to say hello to the dumpster. It needs to be introduced to the dumpster. It's bad. So I'm just going to put this one out. I really don't care. Like this is not, you know, it's five ninety nine, and I'm going to get a nice one from like home goods for Halloween and for fall. And then I'll probably get a couple cheapy ones, uh, you know, cause I mean, I went to one 99 cent store because I knew they had out all of their Halloween and, and harvest stuff, but the local 99s around me will, st will still have these cheapy ones. So I'll probably buy a couple more cause I do my whole, I have like three steps and then the front door. So I'll just get these cheapy ones and then I'll get the good ones from in front of the door. So anyways, I was disappointed because it broke, but you know, that's okay. I'm over it. Um, love the candy corn for $5.99. Why not? The ghost has everything I like. All right. Another reason why I went to that 99 is Pioneer Woman Candles. Are you joking? Yes, please. And thank you. Um, I might, I might put these away for spring. I don't know. Cause I'm not allowed to burn candles anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't, and I can't put these on my candle warmer. So I'm kind of in a quandary. I mean, I could light them outside, but yeah, I'm not allowed to light candles. That's why we have wax warmers and we have candle warmers, but I could not, not get these. And also what's really great. Take these out of the box. Christmas time. You could put this in a cute, you know, they sell those cute little treat bags at the dollar stores that are absolutely adorable. You could put one of these in like a cute, um, welcome basket, stuff like that. So you could get three presents for $4 in tax, depending on what state you live in. Um, so these make for great presents. And I mean, they're adorable as is. You could even just get cute ribbon and put it on there or a cute little bow, doodad, whatnot. I mean, you could look at, like, that would go with that. I mean, you could place it, you know, you could do cute stuff. You could tape it and place it like that, and that could be, like, a little cute fall present. So, anyways, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe... Mr. Grinch will let me light a candle again, but we'll see. All right. 99 cents. You guys, I just, I can't get over these for 99 cents. I, I got to put this in my fall bag. Anyway, super cute. All right. Um, happy Halloween. I had to have it. I, I did. I, the candy corn, it just, for 99 cents, I just went, you know, look at that. Cuteness. Cuteness right there. Cuteness. Love it. All right, so my husband wants me to tell you guys why I'm not allowed to light candles. All right, um, I was taking a shower, and it was me and Ollie here. My husband wasn't here, and I had a bath and body candle on the sink, bathroom sink. And all of a sudden, like, I heard this beeping sound, but I really didn't pay attention because 
our neighbors make all kinds of odd noises, but something told me to get out of the shower and to check out this beeping sound. Well, it was our smoke alarm and the whole, the bath and body candle, I guess it was my fault because I didn't trim the wick. It had caught like a lot of things were on fire. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And I'm lucky. Thank goodness. I got out fast enough where I did not get, you know, like the hairspray and all of that stuff. But, um, Victoria secret pajamas are very flammable. They're not joking. When you see that tag, they are flammable because those got burnt up and so did a couple of other things. So anyways, that was about two and a half years ago. So ever since then, that's why I do candle warmers because I don't light up candles. So that's the candle story. All right. Anyways, so ever since then, my husband's been like, there's no more candles because that's what happened. Okay. Thank you to whoever said this would look cute on my cauldron, around my cauldron. Great idea. I, I, I do read the comments. As a matter of fact, as I've said before, I heavily monitor our comment section. Okay. So, um, when you guys give me great ideas, like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is going to look super cute next to the cauldron, right? Seriously? 99 cents a bottle? Yes, please. All about it. Fell in love. Love it. All right. Then I had to have these napkins. I just, I had to. Very Hobby Lobby-esque. I'm all about it. 99 cents. Oh, I need some water, you guys. I love this thing from Costco that my husband got me. Mm. All right. Then, because I'm too cheap to buy those big ones at Hobby Lobby, maybe one day I'll get them. But I'm a cheap skate. Even at 40%. These are going to have to do. These are my faux lobby do faux hobby lobby dupes. $2.99. Look at that. Bless our home. And then Harvest Blessings. Two, I mean, I'm in love. I, I just, I can't get over it. It is like, look at this. I mean, OMG, look at that. Is that not cute? Is that not fun? You know, I just have to have it. All right. Then it's like, I mean, hold on. Let me get my stuff out. And then look at this. Harvest, that tag. Or thankful. I don't know. It says something like that thankful. I mean, seriously, like that's just all too much cuteness going on right there. You know, fun, cozy, hot chocolate, hot tea, Two forty nine. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If I could find a way to make this stand up like that. No, that's a whole lot going on, but the beads are adorbs, you know, beads are adorable. So, I just, I honestly don't think I would get a better deal. I don't care. I want that to anywhere else. I mean, seriously, how much did I say they were like $2.99? Like, where am I going to get them for $2.99? Except for like maybe Family Dollar. Love it. All right. And then I bought three more of these. I pretty much cleared the shelf of these. Sorry, not sorry. I drove 30 minutes. And that's a lot of gas. And that's expensive gas out here in California. So I drove. I mean, yeah, I put in the time, I put in the money, and I was there. Again, this is going to be for the tree. The big tree in my master bedroom. I'm doing a Halloween tree for sure. So I've thought about it, you guys, and I just, honestly, I cannot stress myself out. And it's going to do a Halloween tree, and then as soon as October's over... I think I'm just going to decorate, go into Christmas for the Chris, for the, for the Christmas trees. I don't know. I don't know. Because I just, I just don't feel like I don't have enough time. As soon as November 1st hits, I'm going into Christmas mode. So I'm going to do the trees in Christmas. And then we get our fresh tree on Black Friday. So that's how that rolls here. So yeah. Anyways, great decorations. Awesome. 
All right. One thing you can count on at the 99 cent store is their holiday tapestry rugs. Um, they usually do them for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. Not they. I don't think they do them for Halloween, but I get them every single year because I put them in the bathroom in front of the sink. And this is what I need for Fancy's dog bowls. So one of these is going to go for Fancy. I like the owls the least, so that'll be for Fancy. Happy Harvest. And I would have bought more, but they only had like two thankfuls, and one of them had like a big crease in them. But like I said, my local 99 cent stores will be getting more, and the, there's probably more designs. So I'm going to get a couple more to wash and rotate for the bathrooms. And then, like I said, Fancy needs to have one as well. So stinking cute. Um... Two ninety nine, you know, two ninety nine, and they do wash well for the season. I will say that. So yeah, totally cute. All right, and I had to get this tray. I can't wait to like fluff it out. It's gonna be so cute, and it lights up for seven ninety nine. I may get another one. I don't know. It's cute. Those will be my fall trees. Those will be my fall trees. All right. Um. There's one more item from the 99. There's actually two more items, but they're in the back of my car and I'm not pulling out. Well, actually the forerunner does need to go out because it needs gas because I am going to Pasadena tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I'll save those two for next week because those are big items and we just don't have any room to put them in the house right now. Like we are so swamped. Okay, I'm just going to back up. I got the harvest, the happy harvest sign on one side from the 99. And I think this was like, and then this was like trick or treat on the other. So anyways, it was $9.99. So, all right, that and the 99 cent store. That was a $111 trip to the 99 cent store. So, yeah. All right, let's get it. Okay, one more, a couple things from Home Goods I forgot. Oven mitts. Oh, seven ninety nine. How stinking cute! Those foxes are adorable. And then look at it—it matches the pumpkin spice. So you know, I had to have them. And then Ray Dunny, give thanks. I mean, her towels are so nice and plush. Not that we're gonna wipe our hands on them or anything, but you know, if we did decide to, they'd be nice and plush. All right, Target. I saw this on um, Instagram, and of course, I had to order it. <laughs> it's like twenty bucks. Anyways, it has it comes with a stand, so you can either stand it or it has a jute rope to hang. It's pretty big, and it's a big ghost, but it's gonna go on the wall. I gotta clean it up a little with my magic eraser. That bugs me because see that right there. Anyways, okay, I don't want to even look at that because that's just going to get me, like, totally into, like, a whole other dimension. See, that's going to look good. Fluff it out and then turn it on. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm liking that already. All right. All right, let's do Dollar General. Grateful. I might have this, to be honest with you. I got to get into my bins. Oh, well. If I have it... This will hang up in our bedroom. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't, honestly don't even know what to say. Um, this is cute. Happy Harvest. I don't think I have that. These are $8 each. They're cute. Yay! I did get Halloween napkins at Dollar General for a dollar. All right, good. Because I'm so sick of the um, 4th of July ones. All right. And I did buy some more of the cheapy, uh, weepy fall. These are a dollar. They're cute. Love it. I use these for decor. And then at the end of the season, I use these to help pack like my, my stuff away. Like all the 4th of July cheapy towels and even like some of the expensive ones that just, you know, like I know I'm not going to use next year. I will wrap like those freedom stars, like I'll wrap them in those and then put it like in a plastic bag, just like pat it and so forth. So that's how I reuse them. All right. These are cute. These will, these I will definitely be using. And Dollar General is a store where I like to get this type of stuff. Again, for like where Fancy's bowls are, this would be a good one because it's dark, thankful and blessed. That is cute. 
this I'll put like again in the bathroom. Oh, sorry, you guys. In the bathroom, in front of a sink, wherever. In front of the sliding glass doors. It's adorable. Then, like, this is super cute. This will go on the... St or maybe it goes for Fancy's dog bowls. I don't know. Welcome to our haunted house. I should have gotten more. Why didn't I get more? This was $6. And this was $6. That one says welcome. That one's cute too. That may go like in front of the sliding glass doors or, um, I, I'm probably going to do, I know where this will go. This will go in front of the fireplace because I used a really cute one. I think it's from Dollar General and I put, I put it in front of the fireplace and I put my red wagon on it and I did like a whole little display. So I might do that with these, but yeah, um, this one, this will get messed up outside. So this will probably go where fancies bowls are. This is not worth six dollars, honestly. But this is this should be like three. Hopefully, Family Dollar will be getting their stuff in. This is this was overpriced. This one is a little bit more carpety, but I'm kind of like. I mean, once the season's over, you can't use these. I mean, unless you have the most immaculate house and you don't have black dog hair everywhere okay um and we do try our best to keep on top of it but i mean she's a chow chow and she sheds that is what it is so yeah these are pretty much just they're tossed out at the end of the seasons because you wash them and like these threads start coming out and yeah all right that is dollar general i did not go crazy at dollar general because I don't know why. Well, there wasn't a lot. I mean, there was a lot of cute stuff, but I do try and piece myself. Although I lost my head at the 99. That was a complete fiasco there. All right. Dollar Tree. Yep. Yeah. These take batteries. FYI. Um, anyways. Okay. Someone asked, why do I say Ray Dunny? Um, because there's so many times I say Ray Dunn that I get bored like saying the same things over and over again. So to entertain myself, I make up words. I make up lots of words. So that's why. And also like I'll say instead of doggies, doogies, or um, just a pen, just whatever pops into my head at the time, you know? Um, all right. These are cute. Two and two. I might put two outside on the day of Halloween. Um, I don't know. These are going to go where they go. I was thinking about getting some cute, uh, like a pack of four of like the Halloween bow ties and attaching them. That's a, you know, these are crystals, lazy DIYs. I'm all about lazy DIYs. You know what? I got to go underneath the table and find my wreathing stuff, you guys. And I am a lazy wreather. Oh, I'm a lazy wreather. That's why I do half of the wreath with a sign. And then I just do the other half, like with the mesh, because I can only do so much. So I have to make a Halloween wreath. And I need to make a fall wreath because I'm not, you know, so one of you guys wrote something. I mean, a lot of you have said, we've all said the same thing. It's almost cheaper at this point to buy it, honestly. I mean, I've seen so many cute ones at Home Goods, and Walmart does a pretty good job. But Walmart, the aisles are still filled with back to school. Um, although I have seen some Walmart, some people have found fall at Walmart, but Walmart lags here in Orange County. Um but anyways, so yeah, I'm a lazy wreather, you know, I really am. So I can't do a whole, I mean, I could do a whole wreath, but I don't want to. That's the point. So anyways, I got to find my wreathing stuff, but it almost, I mean, pretty much what I spent, I think I spent $31 on wreathing supplies at Hobby Lobby and I could have bought a Halloween wreath and, you know, for an extra 15 bucks or 10 bucks, I could have got myself, um, a fall wreath, you know, if I paid 20 and 20 because Walmart sells them for like $19.99. But I guess, you know, it's the, I mean, honestly, you do feel a sense of satisfaction when you're done with the wreath. You look at it and you're like, hey, you know, I, I made that. I mean, I love walking up and seeing my 4th of July wreath every, every day. It's awesome. It's like, wow, you know, it's cute. Anyways. All right. Back to the haul, you guys. God, this is going to be a long haul. 
Are these not cute? All right, they're finally got with the program, and they're not doing the minis. I mean, the minis are cute. Don't get me wrong. The minis are cute. You put it in your hot chocolate, and you can stir it, and you're all cutesy putsy with your little mini spatula. But these are, you know, I mean, you need a big spatula, you know, for all the baking I do, right? Fancy's hair is on the spatulas. I don't even know how her hair got done. I don't even want to know. All right. Um, cute. I mean, for $1.25. This will save me from having to buy the ones at Hobby Lobby. Maybe. That's a big maybe because I haven't seen them yet. But honestly, I'm thinking maybe I don't need to buy October ones, you know, Halloween ones. Unless the, the, unless the 99 or Dollar Tree comes out with some cute ones, then yeah, I'll pick them up for like a couple of bucks. But I'm pretty much set, you know. This is going to go in my utility crock. Cute as a button. Look at matches. Perfect. I've never bought these before, and I don't want them to say anything. Like I just want them to stay quiet. Because every time you their motion and they say, trick or treat, smell my I don't know, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. I think that's what they say. And they oh my gosh, drives me nuts. But they're cute. Are they are cute. And for some reason I felt like I needed these green pumpkins. I don't know why, but I felt like I needed them. Um Alright, let's move these. textiles look at they came out with some cute ones I adore these picked up two and two pumpkin spice and everything nice this is definitely going by my coffee bar then the Halloween oven mitt like it love it another cute farmhouse looking harvesty one and then I picked up these, which I don't like the fact that they get like these wrinkles, but love it. Too cute. Adorable. Plus the ones that I've already bought at Home Goods. Look at this. Oh gosh, you guys. I just, uh, this has to be one of my favorite that they've come out with in a really long time. It just has everything that I like. Cute. Then, I'm sorry, but that is a good deal. For $1.25, I bought two Sprinkle Halloween for my coffee bar. Too cute. More pot holders. And I'm going to try this right now. I'll see how I like it. This is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Balm. I like it. I like it. Um, I tried to swatch it. It's very, very light. Okay. Um, I did go to Walmart and I didn't, like I said, I didn't shoot there because there's nothing. I mean, I shot a little bit, but there's just not enough for me to put post a haul. I mean, not a haul. A shop with me. All right. I did get some fine jewelry cleaner for my jewelry. People have given this really good reviews. So I said, why not try it? Then I needed some sun, my fake and bake, Jurgens Natural Glow, fair to medium skin, gradually creates flawless natural color. I usually like the one that helps tone you up. I don't think it really tones you up, but reading it makes me feel better. Then I bought this is a, I like these made in form. These are like whole like little suits, like when I want to smooth everything out. They're super comfortable. Um, wear your own bra, cool comfort. And I think I got, a large because they're super comfortable like this I mean if you this is not Spanx I mean these are really just I mean they work okay and honestly I probably I don't really wear them a whole lot because they don't really pull you in to tell you the truth but I don't know why did I get it I don't know maybe I like it maybe I don't anyways it was like 20 bucks but they're not, um, this is not Spanx in the least. I don't know. What does it do? I guess I should have read this. Do, I don't know. This is made in form, right? Flexes, wear your own bra, sculpts. It says ultra firm. But honestly, I'm supposed to be, I should have bought a size medium because I'm an 8 to 10. But I bought a so size large because I like to be comfortable. So that's probably why it doesn't do anything. 
that could be it. All right, you guys, this is the haul. And yeah, I'm tired. I am going to go, I'm going to load this baby up and I'm going to rest a little bit. And then I, I have crystal has a lot of work to do. I got started. I already filled up one bin and look at all that. This is, that's all cabbage patch kids. Oh, and the target ghost. And then there's the new sign that's going to go outside. I mean, as you can see the table, it's, I got to start doing the house. So anyways, um, thank you so much. You guys really, really rock. And thank you to all the new people that have decided to join this crazy train. Um, I promise you it's not always super crazy. It's usually crazier. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's really not this bad usually. Um, and I know I'm on a new kick with Cabbage Patch Kids, so bear with me. Um, and anyways, all right, I will see you all later. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. And I will see you all tomorrow.